to represent it very crisply we have a mechanism called as RACA so RACA stands for responsible accountable contribute and inform okay now this is a very crisp way of representing what each of the roles of people in the project would be uh, you know doing at each of these phases of the project right so on one side you have all the roles and another side of the table you have the detailed activities in the project right like if you take only the planning and definition part you now you do the we first create the project plan then the schedule then the budgets you would uh, identify the requirements use cases right so you know these are the these are the activities that would be done uh, right from planning till uh, creation of test cases right now you list down those activities then you would list down all the people in the project right then you would map each role to what they would be contributing across each of these activities right now let me explain each of these role and then we would uh, look at what it means right so responsible means he would own that task he has to make sure that that particular task is completed on time and, and without any uh, major issues right so if, if there are any problems he is the first point of he has to you know ensure that all those uh, necessary actions are taken to uh, correct it and ensure that it's back on track right so he is the primary person who should ensure that the task is completed so if if something goes wrong he said is on the block he is is he would be the first one who would be uh, held responsible for right now so that that kind of role is called as a responsible the second one is accountable there would be multiple people working on a particular task right a simple example if, if if you look at development right now there would be at least some 10 15 developers in a in a in a in a you know mid size project right now all these guys are 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 accountable for ensuring that the programs are written right and there would be a tech lead who would ensure that all this uh, you know uh, development is completed on time right so usually responsibility is given to one person and all the people who are actually working on that task would be uh, you know accountable for that particular task right so that's the difference between responsible and accountable right so if you look at it there would be only one person who is uh, who is uh, responsible and then there could be multiple people who are accountable okay so uh, usually responsibility is is given to one person he has to make sure that the task is completed accountable could be multiple people who own that task who are con who are actually working on that particular activity and who has to ensure that the task is complete okay the third type of role is contribute or consult right so primarily we would use it for consult also right so uh, so what this means is these guys are not uh, you know doing that task right so they they won't uh, own any uh, you know uh, uh, particular task but they can provide advice so they are experts in some field and then you know actually Uh, contribute to that particular task they can advise you they can consult uh, provide that consult and advice uh, to ensure that the task is done in a better way right so that's that's a consult kind of role right and the last one is inform so they just need to be kept in the loop they just need to know what is happening so they will not do any work they are not doing they are not even providing any inputs but they should know what is happening like usually the senior management needs to know so we'll keep that role as informed right any other systems which are dependent on your system they need to be informed about your progress of your system right so anybody who is impacted you generally keep them as informed uh, and then the you know uh, and and usually the roles are classified into one of these four like if you look at this now you are a business analyst so you would be held responsible for functional requirements you have to make sure that the requirements are captured and then the use cases are also captured right so these are the primary responsibilities what are you also doing you're also uh, preparing the test plans and scripts that's your responsibility right the rest of it you are contributing you would you would contribute to the planning scheduling budgeting then your design and, and uh, you know your mock up screens and all 
you are you are contributing there you don't really own it you are not even as held accountable you are contributing there which means you are you are providing some clarity you know if, if some advice is required you will provide that advice that right? if you feel something can be done better you will just inform them right so this this rsa matrix is generally prepared at the start of the project it's again prepared by the project manager you are not expected to prepare this just that if somebody gives you an rsa matrix you should clearly know you know this is my role this is these are my expectations right and then uh, you can look at each of the phase and then see you know who has to do what kind of activity you will get that clarity right so understand this document make sure that you you, you are clear about this document okay any questions on this you understand this topic rsa matrix all right uh so again you are not preparing this document you will only refer this and then figure out what is your role what is other people doing it's a crisp way of representation either you could have a large word document with detailed roles and responsibilities explained or you could have an rsa matrix which which crisply represents what each one of those persons are going to do uh and and uh, you know uh understand their uh, role in the project okay so that's the first step you are figuring out who are the key people in the project identifying those key people right once you have identified the key people then you would start your planning activities thanks for watching the video please like comment and subscribe for more updates